multiply 59 by 25 5 times 9 is 45 Carry the 4 and write to 5 5 times 5 is 25 Then add the 4 and it's 29 We write a 0 when We multiply the 10 2 times 9 is 18 Write the 8 but the 1 carries 5 times 2 equals 10 Then add the 1 and you get 11 Add the numbers up And that is the product I said Add the numbers up And that is the product Coming on the scene is 23 times 19 3 times 9 is 27 Write the 7, carry the 10s 2 times 9 is 18 Add the 2 when you get 20 Then write a 0 when We multiply the 10s 3 times 1 is 3 2 times 1 is 2 And now we know just what to do Add the 2 numbers up and then get 437 Add the 2 numbers up and then get 437 Add the 2 numbers up and then visit numberrock.com Stuffed animal. When we do long multiplication, we check it with the inverse operation. The product becomes the dividend. The divisor is the multiplier or multiplicand. Think of your dick with precision. We do the long division. If the quotient is the other factor, then we know we've got the right answer. We need to write a zero when we multiply the tens and the numbers of. to tell you that if the numbers contain decimals, the extra work is minimal. Simply multiply everything like before. And there's just one step more. Count the number of decimal places. Then move left in the product that many spaces. That's where the decimal point's written. And every space to the left is dividing by 10. Visit numberrock.com for exclusive content, lesson materials, and more.